And welcome back to the Factor on Sensor. We have some Houston area representation on NBC's The Voice. Local teacher and singer Constance Howard recently impressed a celeb blew them away. Blew the coaches away on the show, and she joins us here on the Factor on Sensor. Your, your performances were incredible, just Thank mind so blowing. Much. Thank you. So what gave you, number one, the strength, number two, the courage to say, I deserve to be on The Voice? Well, I've actually been singing since I was four years old. And from there, I just kept pushing. My parents definitely encouraged me joining choir, doing the school talent shows, local talent shows. And it was something that I always had that want and desire to do. So I kept pushing and it finally came. Yeah, you yeah. know, all kids are shy, even if they have talent, and it takes a lot to push them out on that stage, whether it be at a high school play or exactly. at church. When did you realize, hell, I can sing. Let me go on out on that stage and do what I need to do. <laughs> I actually <laughs> realized at a very young age, I was five, year old, five years old, I had a Christmas program where they gave me a solo to sing Away in a Manger. And just going back on that experience and hearing the, just seeing everybody's reaction, I was like, I want to do more of this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where that kind of stemmed from, you know? And, and your mom is here and I'm sure your parents are huge supporters. What does it do when you see their eyes on you? Cause that gives you a certain strength and a confidence when your parents are looking at you like, I know that's my child Most and she definitely. is talented. Most definitely. It really just gives me a sense of I'm doing exactly what they have always wanted for me and what I've always wanted for myself. I feel like I've made them proud when they look at me. I almost cried when I went back and watched their reaction to the blind audition video because they've been putting me in the studio and mm -hmm. encouraging me to, to go out for the talent shows and to write my songs and just fully go full force with my music, so. And when you made it past that first round on The Voice, mm -hmm. and then that second round, and the rounds kept coming, what did you think to yourself? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that was the first thing mm, every time. Won't he do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was thank you, Lord. That was always my first thought in my head, and I felt like he was with me every step of the way. But, you know, just even being on my blind audition, I, prepared myself for if there wasn't a chair turn, at least give 100%, at least give your best performance because you don't get a chance like that every day. And what's next for Constance? I am working on some special surprises, some special um, projects coming up and the holidays are my favorite time of year. So I need everybody to be on the lookout for what's to come oh, during the so holidays. Like a Christmas album. <laughs> Hang on this too. Oh yes. <laughs> for those we who want to follow you on social media, where can they follow you? They can follow me at Vicky Constance on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Thank you, man, for yes. joining us here on Thank the Factory. So Congratulations. Much. Thank you. For so